I see so behind the basket, first and third row, and he crumpled. It was literally right in front of us, in front of everybody. And I and you knew, you knew, you could see when he got up, and he, I'll never forget the way he dragged his leg in Game Seven. So when he so when he comes out of the tunnel, and you're sitting there, Jeff, like, what did you even think was happening? At first of all, we didn't know because everybody was standing up and looking into that corridor that leads onto the court. But then when you saw Willis, and Willis had a gate about him, like a walk. When you saw Willis and he came on the court and you saw Chamberlain and the Lakers stop and turn around, it was magical. And people were saying to themselves, well, we didn't even know if he was going to play. We thought maybe it was for inspiration. But I know that Willis said before the game, I forgot who he told. He says, oh, I'm going to play. He hit those two jumpers, it was over. They were demoralized. We used to stamp our feet on the, the metal that yep. that was under the seats. And that night, it was the la the guard was shaking. And the reason I love Willis is he was all, you know, he was all shot up to play. But I remember him putting his, and I learned this from him, when I play a bigger guy, put your leg between his legs yeah. and your yeah. arm around his waist. And, I, and not only that, I remember him putting his, like actually leaning his shoulder so he wouldn't be leaning on his bag leg. And that was, man, I I, I cried that night just wow. because yeah. that guy, man, I mean, man, th th those were the two of the most exciting, emotional, dramatic sports events. I've, and I've been to a lot of sports events, all sports. That, that win takes the cake for me.